I'm sorry I missed most of the welcome home party. Ah, oh, well, couldn't be helped, right? When duty calls. Yeah, when duty calls. I don't want to talk about work, though, okay? And you couldn't even if you wanted to, right? Because you didn't go to the hospital. Where'd you go, Dad? See, when I got the uh, hospital schedule earlier, I was looking it over and I noticed that you weren't on the list. I mean, you weren't even on call. Yeah, you're right. I wasn't there. Dad. But everything's fine. I mean, I'm here now, so... But if you had somewhere else you had to be, I mean, why didn't you tell me? I mean, I would have understood. I think it's weird that you lied about work. <clears throat> I had to do something for a friend. I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you, and you know that I rather would have, you know, would have preferred to be here for the party, so... Uh, if you say so. I mean, I guess uh, I was only gone for, uh, for a couple of weeks, right? So it's not that big of a deal. A couple of weeks felt a lot longer than that. <sighs> Tell me about it. I'm never leaving Robbie for that long ever again. I don't know how parents can... How parents can leave their children. Well, sometimes you just lose your mind. Did uh, your mysterious disappearance have anything to do with Holly? No. Why? I thought... Well, Holly couldn't make it tonight, and then you snuck out, and I thought... You know, your brother wouldn't grill me like this. Yeah, well, he's not very bright. <laughs> I just want you to be all right. I was just going to say the same thing about you. And I am. I, I'm great. You are, aren't you? I mean, I have never seen you happier in your life. I mean, you just seem to have everything going for you right now. you got Danny, Robbie, your career. It's all there. Don't let anything get in the way. You're not going away again, are you? You're stuck with me for a while. All right, look, I gotta go. I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring tomorrow, okay? okay. Take care. All right, good idea. Bye. Thanks for coming. Uh, is that me? Hmm? Or was my dad... <laughs> um, yeah. What's going on? I don't know. You I don't want to talk about it? I hope nothing's wrong. Well, honey, you're just going to have to trust him to tell you when he's ready. Except that's my dad, so it's easier said than done. Hey, hey. Mm, what? What are you doing? Stop cleaning right now. Stop All it. Right. You got to save room for dessert. We had dessert. Not oh. that kind of dessert. Oh, you mean that kind of dessert? Mm -hmm. Oh, I miss dessert. Me too. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I was just trying to see the, the full effect here. Uh, of, of what? Our living room. Our living room with all the furniture that's been perfectly arranged mm -hmm. by my wonderful, amazing husband. I only yes. wish I could have been here to see all the heavy lifting. Well, it was quite a sight. Mm. <sighs> have I told you yet how good it is to have you home? You know, a few million mm. times. Mm. Okay, okay, you can show me. Mm. <sighs> what? What's the matter? Are you still worried about your dad? You know, I learned a long time ago that I can cannot force my dad to tell me something that he doesn't want to share. Right. But I know something's up. You think he's drinking again? No, no, no. He's definitely not falling off the wagon, but... I get this feeling of regret from him, and I just don't like it. Well, you know, honey, your dad saw a lot in Africa. He went through a lot, and maybe it just, I'm sure, it just surfaces sometimes. Maybe. Right? Oh, Danny, I just want to see him happy. Michelle, happiness is a weird thing. I mean, your father does not strike me as the kind of uh, jump up and down because I'm happy kind of guy. <laughs> no, definitely not. Mm -hmm. And I think he'd be very unhappy to know that we were wasting our big reunion night talking about him. <laughs> Actually, I think that would suit him just mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> you know, well, what am I going to do about it, right? Yeah. At some point, 
You raise them right, you give them all the love and support that they need, mm -hmm. and then you just got to push them out and make sure, you know, they're responsible mm -hmm. for themselves, right? I mean, what kind of secret could he be hiding from us anyway? I mean, what? She's like some secret agent, mm -hmm. double O Bauer. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. No, maybe not. No. Hey, speaking of secret lives, where are you what? hiding the secret decorator? There's no... Hun decorator, I just... I moved the furniture around, that's it. And maybe I had a little bit of help him if you want to compliment me on my brute strength. No, see That'd you. That'd be okay, but that's about it. Did you consult Feng Shui on this one? You did. Bless you. It's very cute. You know what Feng Shui is. It's the Chinese yes, art of putting everything in its proper shui place. I really is. think that you got it down. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds mm -hmm. me of that, that show, you know, the one with the, um, the sexy decorator when the couple, they go away and he they decorates their house while they're gone. Oh, I know, no, okay. You be the decorator and I'll be the sexy housewife uh, who needs help you, with her. I have to tell you, that's just, that's just not on the top of my fantasy list. Oh, come on. Bad or feng shui room. Oh, see, you almost uh, got whatever. it. You almost got the word. You know you're mm. asking for it. Oh, got a full <laughs> fancy, so. Mm -hmm. No more decorating talk. I'm serious. What? What are you gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do. Oh, really? Oh, fabric swatches. <laughs> no. Colors. No more. Paint.